First of all, we check the print quality of our printer. To do this, we have to press the menu button on the printer. You see there is ready in the display, depending on the language which you selected. So we press the menu button, go one to the right, you see the test menu appears and here we press the button down, two to the right and then we see the device list and here we see also 104 millimeter wide labels are needed so that we get a good printout on our labels. Space enough and here we go. So what we see immediately is the print quality is very bad on this printer. That means we have some stripes in the printing direction and either the printer is dirty or the printhead is dirty and needs some cleaning or the printhead is damaged and needs to be replaced. So in our case after cleaning nothing helped so we will replace it. Before we start with the printed replacement, we switch the printer off. But we still keep the cable connected to the electric power supply. That means we still have a grounding of the printer. It's still connected to the ground wire of our electric power supply. So we have no stress with the electrostatics. First of all, we remove the ribbon from the printer. We open the printhead and take the ribbon off. We use also the 2.5 millimeter Allen key which comes with the printer and open the center screw of the printhead. Turn it totally off. Take it off from here. Okay. And open the print mechanism. And what we see is the printhead is nearly in all cases automatically falling down and then we see the two connectors. The one connector here on this right side is the power connector. On the left side we have the connector for the data lines. Then we remove the first connector and second connector for the data lines. Simply disconnect. And then we have the printhead in our hands. So the printhead itself is now something which we want to observe uh, under the microscope to see what happened here. But uh, whatever happens in all cases we will replace the printhead. It's a little more to see on this sample printhead. In this area we have empty spaces where the printer doesn't work properly. The, the dots look okay, but uh, no printing in this area, so what might be wrong on this? So we scroll down a little bit and what we see is a really, really nice scratch. Seems to be done by a knife or any sharp screwdriver or whatever. So all these lines are interrupted here which has the fact that there is no power on the dots and so no electricity on this area that means no heating on this area uh, and also means okay we have white space here. So there are a lot of different defects on, on printheads. It was just one sample which we wanted to show that uh, mechanical damage may mess up a printhead and so therefore be careful. So we have a little different effect here on this printhead, but nevertheless we take a new one. The errors had been a little different on the other printhead, but we still want to replace this here on this printer. So what you see here is a printhead for a 4 inch wide printer 300 dpi and it also shows the article number on the box. We unpack it and what we see immediately there is a little label which shows us there's risk of electrostatic damage on this printhead. So be careful if you uh, with the handling if you unpack it. And just to make sure to be grounded, touch the printer on any metal part, then you automatically will be grounded if you still have this 
grounded wire connected to the printer. So let's unpack the printer. We remove it from here and try to do our best that we do not touch on a couple of parts. That means we try to avoid um, print touching the, the surface of the printhead and also please do not touch the connectors. So also here when we connect the connectors we try to do our best that we do not touch the glass surface of the printhead. So we connect this printer first, with this connector first and then we take the power connection little click and we take the printhead in our hands best way is to touch it on the metal frame here and you see on the left and right side we have two pins which fit into this holes on the printhead mechanism so that means we have to move the printhead back to the original position move it a little bit and you can hear a little click if the printer is in the right connection and you see the little holes for the screws for, for the adjustment and then we take the screw here in the center and turn on it so until it is again fully fixed Oops. so one turn more here we are so now we see the little pins are in the right position and furthermore we have this little markers on the right and left side where we can immediately see where the printed position is. So you see here on this little arrows the printed is centered. Printed alignment is shown in another video. So now after we made our work it's important that we clean the printed Therefore, we recommend to use isoprop, uh, very water-free, so 99%, and put some of this isopropyl alcohol on our cotton here. Clean it. So, okay, so to, to remove all the, the grease from our fingers, uh, any dust on this, and then don't forget to dry it afterwards. Here we go. And now I think everything is okay. So it's time now to bring our ribbons back to the original position. Lock it, close it, and let's have a little test print to check the print quality again in our menu, which we had before. And then we press on the enter button. And what we see looks not too bad. So I think now the print quality is much better than at the beginning. And uh, yeah, I think good job.